Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, we're going to take you guys through this beautiful property by Carla Homes. So this is called the Daroch. It's a five bedroom property. We are located at the Ego Sham site. So before we go into the house, I just wanted to talk about the exterior. You have the rough casting at the top and then the brickwork at the bottom. You also get a single garage as well. So as you enter this beautiful property, you are greeted by this large um hallway oh i love the color of this though actually it's black nice little hallway uh, you can utilize this space for your um your shoes or your jackets things like that and something that i love about this house is the fact that the downstairs that you see is out here so, okay so i'm going to show you the the toilet so it's a simple downstairs toilet decent size and um, you have your sink and then you also have a toilet so now we're going to enter into the main space of this house wow so this is the entrance hall very spacious and um, they've utilized the space as you can see they've got this large cabinet here this wooden cabinet the furnishing is stunning the interior designer has done a fantastic job but you don't have to uh, use a cabinet in this space you can utilize this space for something else or you can even just leave it empty actually i love it very spacious i love the spotlights again adding that extra lighting to the space so it's beautiful so we're now going to enter the principal living space so this is the living room wow how beautiful is this space the interior designer has done a great job beautiful colors um so let's talk about the room so the room is very very spacious big lots of light coming in you've got this large window over here to my right bringing in so much light you have the high ceiling curtains coming down done beautifully you have a uh, two large couches in here as well so again this just shows you how much space you get in this house um i love these couches actually they're not bulky <laughs> they're quite small so yeah so it's really lovely and then you have this beautiful mirror here very gorgeous actually like you can just look at yourself in the mirror it's a beautiful mirror a very nice touch um to the room so you've got there's two actually so you've got one on my right and one on the left so yeah so very very beautiful something different actually um the main feature um of this room is this gorgeous fireplace you can see uh, it's got an illusion of the fire burning. So you have this lovely feature wall. Um, it's got like a marble effect, actually. Uh, it's gray. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very beautiful space. Lots of room. Then you also have another section over to your left. And in this section, they've got a, an armchair. So they've got one armchair here, which you can utilize if you want to just read a book and relax in here. It feels very cozy, this room, I must say. Um, and then they've got this large light in here. If maybe you don't want to use all the lights in the room, you just want to use one light if you're reading. Yeah, it's very beautiful. They've got a lot of furniture in here, but it's done tastefully. So we're now going to showcase the kitchen space slash family area slash dining area as well. So come with me and I'll show you. This is always um, my favorite part of a house. So as you enter the space, you have this beautiful large glass dining table that sits about six people. You could possibly fit more, but um, currently they only have about six chairs. You can use this for um, if you're having formal dinners and things like that. And then over here to my left, you have this beautiful, gorgeous island. Oh my goodness. Wow, how beautiful is this island? Very large. Um, they've got three bastards. I love the colors, guys, I must say. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier in, our, in one of our earlier videos that I'm actually starting to get into black. Um, so I love these black bastards. You have these two lights sort of coming down. You have an electric cooker here. Another thing that I love about this kitchen is the fact that you don't have the large extractor fans, which some of the properties may come with. Um, the extractor fan is actually built in into this cooker, so which is something that's smart and allows you to have um, these lights. The kitchen itself is beautiful. You have lots of cabinets. I love the extra feature of the lights at the bottom of the cabinets. You have a single fridge in here. Um, so you've got your 
fridge and then your freezer at the bottom and if you want it in the future um, to have an extra fridge you could get one and you can fit it in here because you've got plenty of storage so you might as well utilize this space for an extra fridge then you've got um, a double oven so let me make sure I, <laughs> that it's actually a double oven so I think you've got an oven at the bottom and I think this is a microwave at the top so yeah so you've got oven and then micro over the top here and um, you've got the bifolding doors bringing in so much light to the kitchen and um, during the summertime you can just open up this and um, if you have guests over you're having a barbecue things like that that this would be amazing like you can use this space for so much then you have your beautiful garden very large and um, this doesn't come turfed but i think you can request to have it turfed um, if you have to go for these properties and now i'm going to take you guys to the family area of this room they have this beautiful l-shaped couch uh, it's a corner sofa beautiful very relaxing very cozy i love this rug <laughs> this rug is so soft isn't it yeah it looks really soft yeah lovely so yeah so you can just come here you know, just relax, have a good time, play some game. Something I love about this couch is this little feature here, actually. They've got a little section here where you can just pick out a book and start reading. So I love that because I'm actually starting to get into reading. So I think I'm going to ask about this couch and see where they got this couch from. But yeah, really, really lovely. And then over here, you have a little section for entertainment. So they have your TV and a floating um, TV stand or TV unit, should I say. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? So I'm going to show you guys the utility room. And then after that, Didi's going to take you guys upstairs and show you the lovely bedrooms. So this is the utility room. Really, really big utility room, actually. I love this mirror. This is beautiful. I can just look at myself in every room I go into. <laughs> I love this mirror. Very beautiful. And um, you have a window. You don't normally get windows in utility rooms, I must say, uh, but you do have a window in here. There's a sink in here as well. So you can use that if maybe the kids are playing outside or if you have pets, you can use this sink for things like that. Over here, you have your door. Uh, this is the door you use to access your garage. So hope you guys enjoyed the downstairs. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure to comment, subscribe. So Didi is gonna take you guys upstairs. So now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and as you come upstairs, it's this L-shaped staircase, which is really nice. And it's quite different, actually. Usually houses, they just go up. But along the walls, you can hang. There's a lot of space where you can hang pictures, family portraits, paintings. But the interior designer has chosen this lovely piece of artwork, actually. So as you come upstairs, you've got your left wing and then you've got your right wing. I'm currently on my right side, so the right wing and it's very very spacious as you can see so we start off with bedroom number one and this is one of the smaller of the five bedrooms but even though it's one of the smaller it's still quite big for its own uh, purposes but right now they're using it as like a little chilling area but what i would use this room for is an office because it's pretty quite perfect for an office because you've got the window that's bringing in a lot of light right now the weather is not the best it's raining but when you do get nice weather, this room will be perfect. Lovely bedroom or office space. I'm going to take you guys into bedroom number two. So we are now in bedroom number two. And the way they've styled this bedroom is if you've got kids, this is more of a kids room. They've got a double twin, the two twin beds side by side, which is actually really cute because, you know, the kids can have a chat among each other before they sleep. And that always helps kids sleep when they've got another sibling with them. In this room, they've got their fitted wardrobes and there's a lot of space. There's left side, right side. And also they've got some extra storage here for the kids items. So we're now going to take you guys into bedroom number three. They've designed this room as a nursery. So you've got your cot bed. You've got the wallpaper that's like foxes. So it's really nice, very kiddie like. And you've got the window again. Bring in, depend where the house is facing, you can get maximum sunlight coming in and maximum light to light the whole room up. It's quite a small, cozy room. I would say it feels very homely, very warm. So I can see why they chose this as like a nursery. And you've got a little chair for 
nursing mothers if you want to chill or even read your child a, a book uh, to help them sleep so this room's also got fitted wardrobes but it's slightly smaller than the other room but it's big enough to put whatever you need to put in it so we're now going to go into bedroom number four so before we go into bedroom number four i just want to show you guys some extra storage on the landing of the upstairs and they've got a water tank here actually but they've got some space just before you get to the water tank that you can store certain things you don't want to store too many things that obstructs the water tank but yeah the reason they've got the water tank is because the square footage of the house and the, the amount of water that's needed because there's multiple um, en suites and bathrooms so to maintain the water pressure throughout you need the extra water tank so we're now in bedroom number four and this is a much bigger bedroom than the other three bedrooms and you can see they've got the lighting which is pretty quirky and really nice they've got the window and again depending where the house is facing you can get a lot of light coming in you could use this room as a guest bedroom there's a lot of space for it plenty of space within the wardrobe they've got a little chilling area that you can have a seat and this bedroom this is one of the two bedrooms that's got an ensuite and the ensuite is a three-piece ensuite so you've got the tiles and then you've got the toilet you've got the sink and then you've got this extra space that you can put your toothbrush toothpaste all of that and then you've got a mirror that you can check yourself out or make sure you brush your teeth properly and then you've got this beautiful um, walk-in shower unit which is really nice last but not least I'll take you guys into bedroom number five so now in bedroom number five I've saved the best for last clearly see why this is the best I mean plenty of space they've got a double bed here but there's enough space if you want to get a king size bed or a queen size bed in it the furnishing in this room is really really nice so at this side You've got fitted wardrobes, but much bigger. This time they've got three sections to it. And you've got the ensuite, which is much larger. I mean, this is one of the biggest ensuites I've actually seen, even in the previous houses that we viewed. And they've got the his and her sink, so there's not gonna be any fighting over space, etc. You can have your stuff and then she can have hers and then you've got a much larger walk-in shower because this uh, ensuite is larger there's a much larger window uh, within it so now we've done all five bedrooms and i hope you guys really enjoyed them they were beautiful bedrooms they all had their own individual character to it and if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far make sure you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you don't miss any further videos but we're gonna, I'm going to take you guys now into the family bathroom. This is a three-piece uh, bathroom. So you've got a bathtub instead of a shower. Actually, it's a four-piece because it's got a shower uh, unit as well. So you've got a bathtub here if you just want to relax, maybe have a candlelit bath, you know, unwind from a busy day. And then you've got your sink. And then the shower is, is very big, you know, full height tiles all the way, high ceilings and that could fit multiple people in it. Yeah, so it's very nice. That was a tour of the lovely Darak, the five bedroom by Carla Holmes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video downstairs and upstairs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any further uploads. And also comment below, let us know what's your favorite feature of the house. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. bedroom property with a study by Carla Holmes and this is called the Evan. so first of all I'm going to take you guys around the downstairs part of the property and then Didi will take you guys around the upstairs so as you come into the main door you are greeted by this massive hallway again there's high ceiling lots of light coming in because of the way 
the door is set up um, and then over to your right you have the stairs and I love this style actually it's actually beautiful it opens up the entire room um, it feels cozy as well there's plenty of space and um, you can do so much with this property um, and then over um, to your left you have this door which has all your electricals and bits and bulb so it just keeps everything out of the way so it's nice and neat okay so and then as you come in you are greeted with the living room area so let's go inside and check it out after you so this is the living room area it's absolutely stunning you have the fireplace um which you know it's not real fire obviously but it's still beautiful and um, i love the feature wall of this room it's absolutely stunning you have the high ceiling and that just makes this room feel so big honestly i love it i just love the way they set it up and the decor is lovely i love the high ceiling curtain the lights the pendant lights in a way coming down and just makes this room look even more beautiful so i really really love it lots of space and this is a place you would come to to just relax after a long day of work or cooking or whatever you do you can just come in here and relax so yeah i love it oh wow you have your downstairs wc this is a two-piece um toilet basically it's really really big it's big isn't it yeah it's, it's a lot bigger than downstairs wcs what they usually are yeah, yeah. the wallpaper is really nice which is uh, the the in thing right now like everyone's getting wallpaper I love the tile as well and um, the tiles in here they're really nice then what do we have in here I just got some storage for extra toilet rolls <laughs> exactly now I like the, the floating sink actually it's really nice so I'm now going to take you guys into the dining slash kitchen area I love these double doors and um, with the see-through glass so in here you have your kitchen area and you also have your dining area. Again, I love the high ceiling. I mean, this just makes the house feel so, so big, bigger than it actually is, to be honest. Um, this is what I love about color homes, the high ceilings. I think it just sells it for me because I feel with new builds, most new builds, they're quite, you know, small inside and because of the low ceilings it makes it even worse right yeah, it makes it more compact exactly whereas color homes with the high ceilings it makes the house feel massive so yeah so you have your dining area which is lovely then you have your bifolding doors which um leads to your back garden which is lovely so in the summer you can just open this up and you can be having you know a barbecue or whatever you know it's just really really lovely and i can just show you guys the but gardens, you can see the size of garden that you could possibly have if you purchase this type of house. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. It's like a football field. <laughs> exactly. So I love, I love the chairs. I love the colours and um, the lights as well. I love that. I love the curtains, high ceiling curtains. Very, very. You have a breakfast bar, which is huge, actually. This is a massive breakfast bar, to be honest. And... Um, I know they've only got two bathrooms, but you can get more in here, literally, like you can get lots. Um, another thing I love about this kitchen is the dark features. And um, usually everything is white or gray in most houses, but this one is it's a kind of like a darkish grayish, brownish black um, countertops and uh, cabinets as well. So that's actually quite nice because you don't normally get that. And you can see the extra space that you get with the ceilings because usually these actually the top of these cabinets would be the Touching. ceiling yeah. yeah but you actually get a few couple of feet above it so just to show you how much space that you actually have which is yep 
and then you've got your sink over here and then look at the size of the window it's like all the way up yeah. there because this house is so big and um, so i really really love that love this cooker as well this is beautiful um it's a stunning cooker it's got wi-fi as well so you can control it anywhere you are very very beautiful lots of space lots of cabinets and to be honest this even looks like an island even though it's a breakfast bar but it looks like an island because of the size mm -hmm. of it and then you've got your double oven these are really really large actually they are big yeah. <laughs> very big ovens and um, so you can get your cooking on and whatnot and then over here you've got more Close. storage so if you want you can always have like a double fridge i know this is um you know the normal fridge that you would normally get mm. but i think if in the future you could always turn this into a double fridge, a double yeah. fridge. it might be something that kawa homes with door fires are not great yeah. so and now i'm going to take you guys into the utility room again decent size utility room you know just the usual You've got a place where you would put your washing machine, your tumble dryer, and you yeah. also have a sink as well. And a another example is in here, they've got a fridge. So you could also do the same if you wanted to. But yeah, you've got, you know, options and things that you can set up in here. Then you've got a window, which is lovely. I've never actually seen a window in a utility room, but I guess because this one is quite big. So they've got um, um, a window in here. Then you have the back door. So this is what you would use to get to your garden and stuff. And then over here, what's this? Yeah, so this door leads you to your garage, which is actually nice, isn't it? You can even set it up as an office in your garage if you want. Yeah, and I like the fact that it's got a door yeah. in there, so that way you can easily... Um, Going from within the house, because let's face it, how often do people actually use garages for cows these exactly. days? Exactly. All right, so Kay showed you guys downstairs. I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you all the different rooms and how you can style your rooms. So follow me. So as you come up the stairs, you have this room here. Well, it's a door and it's just got some storage in here, which is lovely. So this is a two-story property so this is sort of like your first floor so we were on the ground floor we're now on the second floor and uh, which is quite surprising and um, i mean i knew that but you know the fact that now i'm here it makes this place feel even more exciting so i'm going to take you guys into the first bedroom this is currently set up as a family area slash chilling area well kind of, well not really a family area actually now that i think about it so this is more like a kid's room like sort of like a play area games room chilling vibing um so yeah it's quite nice actually i really love it and you can see the wardrobes as well so you can make this into a room if you want to but this is a five bedroom property so you'd have plenty of other rooms that you can have as bedrooms so yeah you can definitely set this up as a chilling relaxing um room just like the way they've done it i actually like it this is so cozy but if you've got little kids they would love to just be in here and to be honest that's a good thing being a parent sometimes you just need some time alone okay guys <laughs> wow this is such a beautiful room i love this room guys oh my goodness ah how cute is this? This is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's just so cozy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So this is set up like a kid's room. If you've got two kids, they can just share this room. Um, it's big enough, really, to be honest, to fit two people. They've got a bunk bed in here. And it's lovely but it's just so cozy like i would literally sleep in here guys i love it and um, and then and they've got their fitted wardrobes in here as well which is nice so you've got plenty of space plenty of room then i'm gonna now take you guys to this room oh wow <laughs> it's not much well this is the study so this is not a bedroom this is the study so remember this is a five bedroom property with a study so this is just like an extra little room that they have in here so this is perfect as an office and it's so quiet like you literally don't hear anything from the other rooms once you close these doors guys it's like you're in a different world 
I love the way they've built this house. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I love it. This is so quiet. Like, you could have your meetings in here. You don't need to worry about your kids making noise or anybody in the house. Um, I love that quote. Look at that quote, guys. The harder you work for something, the greater you feel when you're achieving it. There you go, guys. I just love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Love, love, love this little study. It's really, really nice. Something nice. I guess to have for the adults as well so let's go <laughs> so now i'm gonna take you guys to the family bathroom so this is the family bathroom very spacious beautiful beautiful big bath i love it and um, you've got your toilet your sink then you've got a little you know stand where you can set up just like the way they've set it up in here like this is so lovely guys i love it oh it's so nice then you've got a walk-in shower as well really really large walk-in shower so let's go now to the third bedroom very beautiful high ceilings lots of light coming in from the outside um i love the colors in here i feel like they love black in this house like everything is black uh obviously not everything but most of the things is black and i actually love that like i'm actually starting to get into the color black um i think it's just classic black is classic guys isn't it let me know in the comments what do you think about this room so this can be like you know like a guest room or something because um you've got a an ensuite in here so you might as well put your guests in here and they can have that just for privacy as well i'm gonna now show you guys the ensuite that comes with this room um walk-in shower decent size as well and um, you've got a window over to your left and you have a lovely sink and toilet so very lovely and this is the view from the ensuite of the room so yeah it's really nice so let me take you guys now to bedroom number. Honestly, this house is so big that I'm losing count. Beautiful room. Absolutely stunning room. Very spacious. Look at this, guys. You've got your built-in wardrobes again. Plenty of space. Um, I love the colors in here, actually. Um, I like the yellows and the creams and stuff. It's quite lovely. So yeah, so it's a, just a basic double bedroom. So all the rooms are double. So I'll take you guys up to the second floor. I mean, there's so many floors. It's a new uh, house design, which is actually quite nice. It's different. There's multiple floors to it. It's not just upstairs and downstairs. This one's upstairs, upstairs again. <laughs> so I love this skylight, which brings in a lot of light. And they've just got a little chair here. So this could be just a relaxation, chilling. So I'll now take you guys into what could very well be the principal room. And this room's got a lot of skylights, which is really good. Bringing in a lot of light within the room. And the room is so big that you can have many things going on within it. You have your bed, you have a spot for chilling, and then you also have a, an area for relaxing and also chilling. If you want to watch TV, they don't have any TVs in here. But again, you could have a TV on the wall while you're relaxing a, an ensuite the ensuite here is a three-piece ensuite which and they've got a bathtub actually so within it you can either have your shower and the ensuite so they've got skylight again giving more light while you're having your bath the toilet they've got a floating sink and just as i turned around they've actually got a shower as well so this shows how big this room is you've got your chrome radiators which i believe could be an upgrade or it could actually very well come as standard and one of the things i like about this room is you've got a walk-in closet effectively you go in and you've got one side of the closet there's actually two sides to this so it's his and effectively his and hers closet now look a lot of space within it you can get so much in, you can hang your suits, hang your clothes, and at the top you can put some extra boxes or things, whatever you want to put on. There's plenty of space, they've got a light. 
So this is the second part of the second part of the walk-in closet. So this will be his or hers. You know, I'll take this side actually. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty much I prefer the right side to things. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Comment below, let us know what you thought about the video, what you thought about this lovely Ralston um property, the tour, anything. Give this video a thumbs up. It lets us know that this is the kind of content you like to see, helps us with the algorithm, and you can watch one of our other lovely properties that we've done a showcase on. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Downstairs. Lovely kitchen. Double oven. Um, double fridge as well so there's two of them one and two really beautiful beautiful kitchen french doors dining table family area very spacious tv to each of them Well, yes. well, we have, there isn't a TV in any of these rooms, but we can't put our TV on one of the walls. Oh, look at the landing. Look how big it is. Look at the landing. Look at the landing. Yes, do you love it? So this is what you see downstairs. First so, up there, that's one. Two, okay. three, so let me four, start five. here. It's five bedrooms. So it's five bedrooms. So this is the single room. Single room. Really nice. But the thing is, actually, because this is a single room, the other rooms were bigger. Yeah, that's it. So, so this is our room. How many bedrooms is the other house? Right. It's five. And every room is massive. Yeah, this is like the smallest room there. Yeah. Um, wardrobes. <laughs> Okay, right, it's like the room, yeah because right, i've got a single room it's just it's, it's so cozy though of, yeah. is that storage yeah there's a lot of space lots of storage Boiler. Boiler. okay so next what's next yeah the rooms are slightly smaller look at the the, the wardrobes as well it's all right it's a decent size it's, nice, though. We'll see it's lovely the price if it's more expensive than the other one or the same price i'll go with the other one Wow. Look at your bathroom, Bobby. This is going to be your room. This 
this the master bedroom? Yeah, come see this. I like this I'm coming. Your room, mommy. Is this going to be my room? Yes. Okay, so is this like a walk-in? Oh, wow. Wow, stunning. Is it? Finally, we get his and hers. We get his and hers. We got his and hers. She's very spacious. Wow, absolutely stunning. I love it. Me too. I just want. I just love this house. So where's the final bedroom? This side, right? I just love this More house. storage. Lots of storage. At least that's one thing I like I about this. So oh wow. <laughs> Finishing. This is stunning. <gasps> Look at the chair. It's the chair for me. It's so, chair. Daddy, this is going to be your room. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's this is the ensuite. Oh, cool. oh, it's all right. It's an all right size. You can have an island here as well. I think you can have an island. Oh, you can put it. Just put it here. Yeah. yeah. I well, like that. I like this as well because that's so separate away from here. But the, here, the kitchen feels smaller. Which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing as well. Yeah. Because I like you come in here and you can chill there, but that's amazing. I prefer the other house. It's bigger oh. because of the layer of the house. Oh yeah, and the other one, right? Like, like you have the li uh, the office, which yeah. is like this, and then you have the, the living, living room, room, and then you have the family area, and then you have the kitchen. Then the yeah, yeah, it's big. Don't get me wrong, this house is big as well. Let's hear the figures anyway. Figures, guys, who wants to hear the figures, boys? Yeah, let's see what what they're saying. But to okay. be honest, That's either it. house is good. Today's video, we're gonna go take you guys through one of Carla Holmes' houses. I believe this one is called the Ramsey. So, in terms of square footage and size, this one is going at 2,800 uh, square feet, which is pretty good. At this point, where just as you get in the entrance, you've got some, you know, I was gonna say storage, but it's just your electrics, <laughs> which is actually pretty handy, you know, and your router and everything like that can go in. So, so the end from the entrance you've got this little hallway so you can effectively use this for maybe like shoes put a little shoe uh, or whatever like that but it's nice that they've got two doors one door separate in this so it's like it's own little space which is pretty good and the door is actually nice we've got a glass which adds in more light and i think if you get a house that's like uh, front facing or something like that where the sun comes in from the front that'll be good so as you come in here you've got 
all this in hallway so everything makes sense you know i what i love about the entrance is the doors i like the fact that they are see-through so you can actually see who's coming to your house before you even let them in so i like that feature about this property <laughs> one of my favorite things about color homes is the fact that their houses are very built to high specification like they really take their time um so i believe this is the first room of the property so this is sort of a kind of office so it's really lovely isn't it yeah or you can use it as a small single bed bedroom downstairs if you've got guests or something like the guest bed that's one thing i love about color homes they have the high ceilings and the windows as well i don't know if you guys can see but they're really massive like they're big yeah so i love that about this property um they've got all these spotlights as well in the ceiling and i think that just adds again to the to make the house brighter the doors the doors are heavy actually i love that about this as well they feel very steady and they feel like really good quality doors you want that so yeah. that way there's no sound coming through especially if you're working you can just lock the door um so back into the hallway we go so i'm gonna take you guys to the living room first this is beautiful what a stunning home guys i feel like sometimes the camera doesn't do these properties justice it's when you're in here you get to feel the luxury and ness of this house it's beautiful how oh, yeah. beautiful is this I house agree. it's very spacious as well wow um, and i like that feature wall look the fireplace it's got the fire burning that's not real is it no, no i think it's it looks yeah nice. but it still feels warm as if yeah. it's burning for real so from the back you have you get your french doors and you have your high ceiling curtains as well coming down on both sides i love that that's my favorite thing yep <laughs> and you also have two side windows so you have one on your right and you also have one on your left so it's really lovely 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 house um i love the decor as well the lighting the fixtures the wallpaper everything and this is real wood as well and I'm going to just show you guys the back as well while we're here. So you can see the back. It's a really large garden. Um, just imagine in the summer. Currently, you can see it's blue skies in Scotland for a change. So imagine if it's really sunny, you have guests over. You can open up these doors and they can sit outside. You guys can chill, relax, and just have a good time in this beautiful house. Um, I love it. This is very similar to sort of the Buchanan and the Forbes and we featured those houses here already on this channel. And some of the um, things in this room actually that you just saw were optionals, upgrades. So not everything here you're gonna get in terms of maybe the ceiling lights and stuff like that. So that's something that you need to take into consideration if you're thinking of buying this kind of house. The stairs is quite nice like in the middle of the hallway. So it's, it's out of the, out of the way. Nice. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So you've got the oh, downstairs toilet. And the wallpaper is quite cool. Take you back to Zambia. Yep. It's big again. Yeah. For a downstairs look, it's yeah. a good size. Oops. I yeah. love it. And now we're going into the dining area. Again, I love the... Um, the glass doors I think it just opens it up Wow have you seen the ceiling in here that's such a nice feature it makes it feel so luxurious have you seen the high ceiling yeah. the ceilings oh wow oh yeah and even the light which I I love really it I love this it's nice and it's very very spacious it's very spacious you know this would be good to reflect to come back to when Designing your house or designing our house, the next one. It's That's beautiful. Cool. This could be somebody's ashes, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe guys, if you're interested in finding out who the interior designer, we can ask for you. And if you're interested in getting your house done up like the way they've done this mm -hmm. place up, we'll be more than happy to to do that. 
so okay so let's talk about this dining area so it's got four win three one two three four no four windows guys so you have the big one in the center here and then you have two extra ones um over to your right and you also have one over this side so you're spoiled for choice in terms of sun like you will get sun in this room constantly it's really really big and there's Didi trying to set up <laughs> I know it's, it's your night. trying to set up you guys are invited for dinner okay spot of tea <laughs> my bowl of water so we're now entering the kitchen and it's very much open plan so the side we're looking at at the moment is the relaxation chilling area so as you can see they've set it up as such and it's very spacious and you see when you see the whole kitchen that even though they've set it up like this there's still a lot of room you can move around the kitchen you can chill when you're cooking you can have the tv on movie on and yeah or even music and stuff like that so right now they've got the music playing which is nice and as you turn around you can see the kitchen side so you've got your island which is really nice and one of the nice things about this island is it's got space for your legs for bar stools. That's space for your bar stools. And as you can see, it looks like a marble, it's a marble top finish actually. It's pretty nice. And it says push. Oh! Wow! Eh, no qua. <laughs> wow, that's lit. So, yeah. So you can never, as we all live on our phones, your phones always be charged. I've got the USB charge and they've got the sockets so they've got the drawers which good finish quite a lot of drawers actually so cutlery will go here and then for here you've got it doesn't open up <laughs> it's from this side yeah so a lot of space a lot of storage and then i like this as well this um okay. electric cooker yeah okay, I'll this. and then more storage Sink, twin sinks, which is really good. And I like this this tap, but I'm guessing this would be an upgrade if you guys want this style of tap. You've got the, the curtain, the quite high curtains, which is pretty cool. You can lower it. I like the double oven as well. Mm. Is this a double fridge? I think so. It looks like it. No. Is it single? Oh, it's double. One's a freezer, one's a fridge. That's it's amazing. Cool. Yeah. I like the double oven actually. Oh look, they've got the alcohols at the top. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, that's actually a nice setup. Yeah. Like you've got your, you can have your expensive alcohols up there, like your moets and all that stuff. Oh wow, that's this cool. is big as well. Yeah, very. Oh, they've it's got even a fridge. Look. Yeah. You've got the door leading to the back from the. Yeah. Alright, let's go now upstairs, guys. I love the music. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. yeah. So, the landing is quite big, actually. So, we are now heading to the first bedroom. So, this will be the east um, wing of yeah. the house. So, we'll go in the one that's straight ahead. Does this feel? I know. I feel a bit. I feel, I feel like this thing is going to do justice. I like this. Yeah. I just sit here, put on the light, and start reading. Yeah, it's for a reading spot. Yeah. Okay, this. Lots of space, and you have your wardrobes here as well. But I think those wardrobes might um, might not come with it. You need to ask. Yeah, it's probably it going, be going a, to be like an addition. Yeah, an addition to extras. Second bedroom so they've set it up as a family room so sort of like a relaxation reading your books i don't know what else just relaxing and there's a tv so it is a bedroom but they've just set it up as a relaxing room because there's wardrobes there as well fitted mm. again love the high ceilings love the window love everything about this house it's just built to a high standard very high quality yeah, I think they develop what that's what they strive for, like the luxury feel and look. Yeah. Plans, plans. 
I just love all these little things. So I'm trying to, so if you're trying to set up like your office, I think this is quite nice because it's actually fitted to the wall, so it doesn't actually move. Oh yes, and it's like ladders where you just yeah. put them on the rungs. You can see, so it doesn't move. Yeah. So that's quite good instead if you have kids. So going back out again to the landing. Now we're moving on to the left side. So I think the first room I'm going to go into is this one facing me. <laughs> uh, so this is the bathroom. It's a kitchen. Yeah, it's a <laughs> kitchen. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Again, I feel like the on camera it looks small, but it's big. Yeah. Because and shower, shower. And bathtub. Yeah, I love the towels in the shower. It, looks, it just feels so luxurious yeah. and expensive. It doesn't feel like it's going to be like because a wobbly door. <laughs> well, it is, I'm sure. We can ask the price for you guys so you know how much it's going for. Again, full tile. But that will probably be an upgrade. Yeah, this I think will definitely be an upgrade, this sink. And I think something you can even get here is you can get mirrors from the yeah, corner today yeah. if you're interested. Because I think that'll be quite nice to see yourself as you brush your teeth or wash your face. I think it'll be nice. And another thing, I'm sure this has got en suites, but you can do like a his and hers. Yeah, it's big enough. Because there's enough space. Yeah. Because so. even the toilet, like, is yeah. it's here, but there's like plenty of space on both sides. Mm. You can do a his and hers toilet, so you can do number two together. <laughs> And there's the windows again, they are like blurry, so no one can actually see you outside. So I like that about this because a lot of houses don't come like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so now we're on to the so this I think this will be storage. No, this is boiler, but I think because something that one of the builders we visited mentioned is that you have this big tank if you have. A big house yeah so for like, the water supply yeah because but, it's such a big house yeah, you get so many that. Suites, yeah showers. exactly so. i used to think that you don't get them anymore but i guess you'd oh my god i love this the colors it's like you're in a different world so this bedroom does fit a bit smaller but it's done to such a good test like how beautiful is this room yeah. look at the colors oh yeah, everything matches. Feels it's very it. autumn. It's you know like autumn. Lights? It's like autumn leaves. I love the autumn leaves. Somebody's it's giving off Trump Tumbery vibes. Yeah. Um I love the built in wardrobes as well again. Very nice. And you have your window, high ceiling curtains, mm -hmm. and then in there you have an ensuite. Decent size big shower. They've utilized the space in this yeah. in this room. Big big shower. I love that. I love this huge mirror. It looks small on camera, but it's really big. Yeah. Hi guys, you can see me. And even as you're coming in, it looks like it'll be a small ensuite. And mm. then you look to the right and then you see it goes in deeper. Yeah. So. Love it. I love I just like the vibe of this room. I like the fact that each room um they've spent a lot of time like they've thought about it yeah. all the rooms don't look the same all the rooms also don't feel the same yeah it's true actually so Cause, you're because it's a big house and you don't want it to be boring so i'm glad that they've it's got color don't you agree guys let me know if you like the colors of this house so there's now the fourth bedroom fourth right one oh, two three here fourth yeah, bedroom fourth. so this is more uh it's got more of the gray feel so grays and stuff which again is lovely um neutral. yeah neutral colors yeah that's the word i was looking for i love this bed very good quality love the wallpaper i love that feature um love these uh, lights as well bedside units on both sides love the windows again really decent size and you also have your built-in wardrobes beautiful so i'll ask if these come as optional or if you get them but i think they'll be optional and you've got a little couch in here so lovely yeah. so over in here again this one has got an ensuite very big really really big ensuite my goodness i didn't expect it to be this big a nice finish as well yeah so this is what i was saying about um getting mirrors because you see how in here the bit mirror and it just elevates the room and you've got a window as well so pretty big pretty beautiful 
love um the tiles as well like this is nice this is good quality when when i talk about quality guys this is what i mean when i say a house is built to a very high standard this is built to a very high standard the details the space uh, the walls the doors the windows even the floor the floors you can feel it you can feel that you're your like you're getting your money's worth basically so this house if you go for this one or if you're interested in buying this house you have my permission <laughs> and we've not even seen the master bedroom yet <laughs> so let's go see this master bedroom well first of all i don't think we've seen this the space in here yeah it's definitely good space it's now on to so, the master bedroom master bedroom and oh very spacious i love this this oh it looks like there's gonna be a walk-in closet walk -in closet yeah yeah it's like the other one that was right in front of the ensuite i like this couch and you have the view of your garden and they have a little pod for like an outdoor office oh yeah that'd be sick. the garden is huge i know my goodness I know it would be yeah it would be it's okay. massive because it'd be where those that was with walkways yeah so it's quite big oh, it's a big one. room i love this room it's really big what, what, love the bed happened? yeah let's go into the ensuite there you go you have a his and has oh yeah <laughs> makes sense for it to be in the master bedroom yeah i love the shower yeah. oh i love it it's a shame they don't have a bath but i guess you have the bath in the yeah, yeah. well how often do you really take a bath though Quite you often. usually just have showers. showers yeah. Oh, this don't is have quite time. cool. I think that's broken. Actually, it looks, yeah, it's I broken. It's, but I think it's the design. No, but that's actually. No, I think cracked. it is. Is it? I think it's supposed to give you that feel of as if it's, it's rusty. And yeah. Then. I love the double windows. <laughs> and then you have your chrome heaters as well. Yeah, but these would definitely be an upgrade. <laughs> So yeah, so you've got a shower as well in there. So back out into the master bedroom. This is lovely. So how about this house, guys? What do you think? So now I'm going to take you guys into the walk-in closet. Sort of. So if you've got... Oh yeah, the way it opens is quite cool, actually. Yeah, sort of he's and has as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you have one on this side. And you have one on that side as well. And I like that it opens like this. So you actually see okay what am i gonna to wear today yeah or if you if you don't have time you just have a bunch of white shirts and <laughs> the same jeans and that's you you really put effort into this yeah i love it so, i love this house yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this tour and we're gonna end this tour here and hope we'll see you guys soon on the next video yeah bye 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 bye